All right, I gotta preface this by saying, I'm not saying if you're playing Olgrim, you're boosted, you're bad, whatever, right? I'm just simply stating things that I believe um, to be true. And I think actually Archer, I mean, if you look at Olgrim, and I was referencing Brawlmance for this, across the board, Axe and Lance are the top two uh, highest win rate weapons, right? So that's already got that checked off. And then you add in the fact, when you look at the Legends itself, he is number four in the highest win rate legends and that also is very very good that's definitely saying something about this character i mean even with the axe nerves there's something to this guy i mean you have a sig like that alone and it's crazy i mean the whole kit on axe i think is super good um i don't have the macho man crossover but dude when people will be playing that macho man crossover it is actually like i mean it's insane macho man is such a good crossover anyways um, but the Lance Sigs, the Lance Sigs are something to behold. I mean, those things are, <laughs> those things are, uh, dare I say, criminal, uh, and how they hit sometimes. But, I mean, this character's been around. It feels like we've always had some staple players playing it, at least at the top level. You see Wesley in, um, Brazil, and then you see also Kostelix in North America, and then EU. I mean, it's hard to name one, because I feel like EU, I, everyone has an Olgrim. Um, it's not like just one or two people that I can name. I mean, to be fair, I don't really pay attention to EU that much, but at the same time, it's like I've seen multiple people play this character. And even more recently, I've seen this character be played in, uh, in 2v2s as well. And I think this character in 2s is so good. I mean, if you watched Mid-Season Champs, you saw Wesley take this character all the way to Grand Finals with Fiend. And just what he was able to do, it's so, so good. I mean, the character stats are perfect for 2v2, and the weapons, I think, are honestly perfect for the stats that he has as well. I mean, this character being able to go down to two decks and it, like, not affecting anything that important is crazy. I mean, you can have six strength, two decks, seven defense, seven speed. Dude, that's, like, that's, like, criminal that you can do that on a character like this where it's, like, oh... The dex is not really, I mean, yeah, you're gonna feel a little bit, but it's not gonna be that big of a deal. That's like, that's like psychotic that you can do that. I mean, on Lance, Axe, dude, like, how are you gonna be noticing that at all? Now, to be fair, there might be, you know, some of you Lancers in chat or in uh, in the YouTube comments, this is not Twitch. Uh, you guys might be saying, oh, well, you, you lose out on this, you lose out on that, on Axe. It's like, dude, I mean, maybe you do, but can we be real, like, at least in twos, Running two decks is going to be just probably a natural go-to for this character. Uh, also something with twos. This character, when it comes to like what he can do with follow-ups and just clearing space, especially on Axe, I mean, we already kind of glanced at this sig a little bit, but this sig, when it comes to clearing space, is insane, right? Cross has a very similar sig in the Blaster D sig, but that, that sig, I mean, compared to this one is, I mean, it's nothing. It's actually crazy. This is like huge, right? Cross just covers the bottom. This covers like the whole screen, basically. I mean, not really. It covers like three Olgrims, essentially. But I honestly think Olgrims opened the eyes of a lot of people, realizing that Lance is and can be very, very good in 2v2s, especially in its current state. But also, um, just like Olgrim specifically is such a, dude, it's just such a beast. I mean, there's not much else to really say about it, aside from destroy these noobs now in the queue. Oh, bro. Wait, I spoke too soon. Uh, come on, come here. I'm an action ground pound right here. It's so simple. Dude, this little wall stall that you can do is its own, that's its own little piece of work. Uh, I don't really know how I feel about it, but it's, I guess it's cool. There's certain things in this game where I'm like, oh yeah, that's actually like kind of cool that it exists. But then other things, I just wonder like, why, why is this still in the game? It's also interesting because dude, on Lance, you still have those wall cancel things you can do. And that's like really good for the weapon. Cause I'm pretty sure you're going to be getting full damage. And for like such a way shorter, like you skip the startup. And it's just instantly like an 18 damage move. Like that's so good, bro. Uh, this character is just like, when it comes to outputting damage is, I think is crazy. And also just dude, killing this legend. It's always a chore. Like whenever you play, like I just think of when I played Kostelix, playing this character is so nuts because you're not just worried about, oh, I'm gonna take a bunch of damage really quick. And there's some options they can do, especially off of like side light Nair into recovery. That's insane. But it's also like, oh, there's always a comeback potential on this character. Also, I'm just gonna say this right now, a lot of you might be wondering like, oh, well, what about Orion? Okay, that character 
in and this is according to Brawlmance, and I mean, I don't know how accurate they are. Maybe this whole video is just propaganda at some point. But, dude, I mean, that character is insane as well. But I think because a lot of people might struggle with, like, Spear at a lower rank, it's like... Uh, I don't know. It just doesn't seem to have that high of a win rate as Olgrim does. Olgrim, Axe, Lance, I think... I think we can, for the most part, maybe agree that they might be one of the easiest weapons to learn, or the easiest weapons to learn. I mean, Sword might be up there. Spear could be up there, but I guess because there's not that many true combos on Spear, at least off the ground especially. Because once you incorporate, like, stuff in the air, right, like, moves putting you in the air, and it's like, oh, okay, I have to hit this here, otherwise it won't be true. Um... It's much, I don't know, when leniency is taken away, right? Because being on the ground is so simple, I think it becomes a lot harder. And that's the same thing with Lance. Like doing a side light and air on Lance, I think for the most part is easier than doing like, let's say like a delight stare on Spear because side light on Lance and side light on Axe can both hit on the ground. Also, dude, what is that SIG? I've never understood, I've never understood the SIG when it comes to like how it hits. Bro, like the options I've seen some of these Lance players take with this is like, I mean, it's crazy. Like it reaches so far in front. I'm really curious to just hear what you guys think about this guy because dude, Olgrim's like, he's just, he's just always been so strong, I think. But maybe, maybe not always strong. I do think even still, um, the fact that I think this character is in a pretty good state right now. I think that there are some bad matchups. I think a character like Val in particular, which is very prominent right now because Gauntlets are super strong. And also Sword is, I mean, Sword's kind of always in a very solid state. I think Val can do pretty good. I think like maybe Rayman if you're getting the Axe Ditto. Um, yeah, it's just there are options available. It's not like, oh, this character across the board has one of the higher win rates, has the two highest win rate weapons. Like, oh, they're basically unbeatable. Not really. I mean, there's always going to be some form of counterplay. With that being said, though, do you think that the absolute destroyer that Ulgrim is with the 6-2 7-7, seven, seven. do you guys think this is worth it? I mean, maybe I'm completely wrong and this is like terrible for the character, but from what I know, this is perfectly fine. And also that Macho Man crossover is, I mean, not only is it cool, but it's also kind of broken when it comes to the Lance Sigs at least. But let me hear your thoughts in the comments. I'll see you in the next one. Peace, guys.